Hey everyone, this is Natalie from Power Moon Tarot. Welcome to my full moon candlelight service where we are going to receive collective messages regarding the full moon in Aquarius. So today is August 2nd um, and tomorrow is August 3rd and the moon is full tomorrow, Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So it is currently 11.15 a.m. 11.15 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, the night before the morning of the full moon. So I thought it would be really great to have a full moon ceremony here and get some collective love messages um, for everyone who's watching and who is celebrating this full moon in Aquarius, okay? <clears throat> so the full moon in Aquarius um, this full moon, I feel, resonates with the root chakra, okay? This is just kind of my intuitive pickup on this full moon because um, really with this full moon, we want to release any cords and attachments that keep us tethered to situations that no longer serve us, situations that be cause us to become obsessive and wanting and um, wanting excess and we call today Archangel Michael and the Queen of Heaven, Ishtar, to support us in our releasing of these cords and to clear, cut and clear our energy from any energy which does not serve us or seeks to harm us or simply is not for us, okay? So we can replace it with energy, our own energy and the energy that supports us, okay? And so <clears throat> this full moon is all about releasing these toxic cords and um, it has a lot to do with grounding. And I don't know where I heard it, but I heard the saying, asses to grass or ass to grass, which, you know, if you have, um, when you engage with someone sexually, it is a root chakra hookup. And so it you do take on that person's energy. There is an energy exchange. So after a sexual connection with someone, if you ever feel drained, depressed, harmed, um, and generally just not feeling like yourself after that, it may be best that you go and find some grass that you can sit on and channel that energy back to the earth because the earth will take care of that for you and cleanse yourself, okay? I also feel like um, this is a, a really great time to do any return to sender spells because Aquarius energy is very detached and it allows us to detach in a healthy manner from the things that no longer deserve, serve us. And so that detachment helps to disperse that energy that we took on unwittingly or unknowingly and return that back to sender so that they can deal with their own energy. And we do this all with light and love and not with an intent to harm, okay? So I'm going to, to get us started, I'm gonna go ahead. I've got some root chakra music playing in the background. And if you wanna skip directly to the collective messages too, you can go ahead and do that. I'll put the links below. But I'm gonna call the quarters and I'm going to um, open up the energy so that I can really re help you guys and receive this reading. Ooh, look at that Palo Santo, it's really going. Okay, so we're gonna clear the energy and ask that the spirits and guides be with us. We're clearing our energy. Anyone who's watching this, my intention is to help you, to help uh, to help others and to clear our energy field, okay? With your permission, of course. And then I'm gonna light this moon incense. Okay, I'm gonna light this as well. I've never used this one before, so we'll see how it goes. I don't know how it's gonna smell either. But look at that go, right? Fire is so cleansing. We're in Leo season right now, and Lion's Gate is coming up on August 8th. So that's pretty cool, okay, you guys? So I'm gonna get that going over here. And we're gonna ask for a root chakra clearing, okay? And I've got this beautiful amethyst stone here to help us with opening our third eye. Optimism, strength, relief 
from any addictions or obsessions, okay? For those of you that are working through that, I have Saint Archangel Michael right here with us as well, ready and willing to cut any cords that we desire in our for our highest good and in faith of our highest destiny, okay? And I'm gonna apply some of this Witches of Old oil here. So I'm going to, I just love this oil, so I'm gonna anoint myself with this oil. I'm gonna put it here on my wrist, okay? I'm gonna pull it into me because I want that energy to be with me. I'm gonna put it on the back of my neck. I'm gonna put it on my third eye. Okay, and I'm gonna put some more on my hands as well. Sometimes I like to anoint my tarot decks with oil as well. Um, mm, so lovely. Okay, this Witches of Old oil. And then I have this ancestor oil, okay? And this is for working with the ancestors that have passed into the other realms. I'm gonna put some of this on my third eye and crown, okay? Because we're gonna talk to the ancestors tonight and get the information that we need, okay guys? So with that being said, everybody, let's get into it. I've never done this on a video before, so I'm a little nervous, but we're gonna, I've done it in person, so we will, we will go with it, all right. So now let's, I'll take a deep breath and I'm gonna call the quarters and open up the energy for our full moon circle tonight, okay? So we're gonna start with the east. Hail to the guardians of the east, guardians of air, Archangel Michael, Saint Archel, Archangel Michael, be with us as we clear swiftly from our energy field. Enter, any energy which seeks that seeks to demean or degrade us or to bring us lower than our potential actually is. Powers of air, cleanse with your beautiful winds and your clarity and your strength. Give us an open mind and a free mind and a peaceful mind. Hail to the guardians of the south, spirit of fire, creativity, love and devotion. Fill us with your desire and your strength and your lust for spirit. Hails to the guardians of the west, to fill us with your powers of water for smooth and flowing energy, to bring us peace and clarity and strength to move us from positions which we've become stuck in. Hail to the guardians of the north. Bring us today our solidness, our grounding. Clear our root, root chakra for us. Bring us to stability. Bring us to strength. Hail to the guardians of spirit. Hail to the guardians of the ancestors. Be with us now as we are here today. We are contacting you. We are here. We are willing. We are open. We wish to reach you and receive your blessings. Okay, guys, the circle is open, so I just got major chills as I was doing that, okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and work with the energy, guys. Okay, so first, first and foremost, I want to draw three Romance Angels cards here, okay? Um, and see what does Spirit want to share with us? What do our guides and angels want to share with us on this full moon regarding love? For a collective message, please, for my beautiful collective message, what do the angels wish to share right now? What do we all need to know? What is best and highest for us on this full moon, angels? Please share with us what we need to know, okay? So we're going to get some messages here regarding love. This is a collective meeting. This is a collective reading here. For all of us all right <clears throat> okay we have passion yeah okay so that's our first card out we have very soon okay and one more spirit one more for the collective one more okay we have engagement okay so for those of you that have been feeling lonely for those of you that have been feeling cast aside and cast out for those of you that have felt like um, like you are no longer a child of spirit, you are no longer a child of God, you are no longer a child of the Divine Mother. Very soon, very soon we find passion, engagement, um, and strength in our loving connections. I'm seeing the strength card here, I'm seeing us prevail 
over any blockages and any addictions and any um, lower energy that has been keeping us trapped in our root chakra. Okay, so we want to go from root to crown. We want to release any strongholds which are keeping us um, too far locked into certain outcomes, wanting to control situations, um, situations that leave us feeling less than we are because we can't control them or we are obsessing on them. Okay, collective, I feel like what spirit is saying here is that you have been very patient all right and i know some of you have been hurting and i know some of you have had situations in the month of july um, especially towards the end of the july that have completely um you know the fire in them has completely gone out and people that you expected that would be by your side have come and gone and um you know some of you are wondering if you're ever going to feel that passion again and spirit is coming through look at this angel kissing this woman okay so the angels are not only like protecting us they're filling us with the passion that we need to pursue our goals and our dreams and in our lifetime right and with very soon it's like you know collective you've been very patient and you've been waiting for someone to actually come and engage with you okay because in this world of quick connections and many options people come and go so easily right and i think what we need as humans we need to feel a part of things right that's what we really need to feel like we have something to offer and that we are a part of things and so part of love is engaging with someone on a regular basis right and I also think some of you may be getting engaged soon with the engagement card or that might be in the cards for you um, but for others of you I see that you're just going to very soon you're gonna be filled with passion again and you're gonna feel engaged in life again okay after we release some of these unhealthy attachments and unhealthy cords all right so let's see what spirit has to tell us regarding love Okay, Spirit, what can we do to release old attachments so that we can feel your passion, we can feel engaged with life again, and we can swiftly let go? Okay, so Spirit, what do we need to know here? How do we let go? How, do the, how does the collective let go here? How do we let go of these cords from the past? Two of Swords. All right, look at that energy intertwined. Look at that. That energy is so intertwined. I feel like Spirit's message is we'll do it for you. We'll do it for you. Okay, we, we, we've got it. We will take care of this for you. Um, don't, don't obsess over it. Don't focus on it request petition for our assistance to let things go and we will help you let them go um, their messages is that your soul had certain lessons and you were intertwined with this energy for a reason but we will help you get rid of it it's natural you don't even have to work that hard we will help you get rid of it okay and for some of us we need to be in meditation more we need to be in silence more and we need to be in touch with our spiritual energies we also need to relax more okay that's something that's going to help get into um, the energy of letting go all right so that we can experience passion and engagement very soon okay so let's look at what else spirit has to say here what else do we need to do spirit to let go seven of swords so for some of us we felt very betrayed okay like people that we trusted we felt very betrayed by them we felt hurt by them we felt that they were hiding something from us we felt deceived okay and for some people um they've been cruel you know i mean some of us here who are watching this who's experienced extreme cruelty and the lives of others a lot of them don't know what they were doing they were unconscious okay it's not an excuse and it's it's not something that absolves them from what they did and it's important spirit wants you to know that that there is there is a tally being kept and this person is gonna have to answer for their actions okay so it's not like people get away with things scot-free if you think about oneness and how we are all joined together when one person um, deceives another and just with a with an ill intent sometimes that that score has to be settled up somewhere 
somewhere, okay? And spirit is reminding you of that and you don't even have to worry about it. Don't obsess on that. The spirit wants you to let go of that and to have a calm and peaceful mind. Okay, and we have temperance. Oh my God, the angels. Okay, so the angels are coming in to right what was ever wronged, and they're giving us the stamp of approval. This temperance card looks like a stamp, and it's the angels doing a stamp of approval here. So, after um, a lot of pain and suffering, and not having clarity here with the seven of swords the angels are bringing us so much love and acceptance and they're really going to help settle our minds okay because this full moon is all about detaching from unhealthy mental patterns and one way we do that is to work with our angels to consciously moderate our thoughts and to put into place practices that help us such as being in nature, taking a spiritual cleansing bath, anointing ourselves with oils, um, doing yoga, whatever you're taking a walk, listening to music um, that's meditative in nature, right? All of those things, anything that you do, uh, working with crystals to help you release and let go of that energy, Okay, some of us are having throat chakra issues right now too and may feel like our throats are not going to clear easily with this sword energy, but our throats, um, some of us need to be drinking some salt, maybe not gargle, not drinking it, but gargling with salt water and, um, you know, getting more water in general is what I feel and gargling with salt water in our throats. Okay, some of you could have some throat chakra issues here. Okay, let's see what else Spirit has for us regarding how do we let go? How do we let go, Spirit, in love? How do we let go and channel our highest good? How do we let go and channel our highest good? How do we let go? Four of Cups, it's meditation, like I said, and the High Priestess is on the bottom of the deck, okay? And that third eye is lit up. And how do we get into that Four of Cups? It's getting into a meditative state, right? So that we can clearly see what Spirit is bringing into our life. So we aren't just focused on the externals. We have to go internal. Now is the time to go internal. It's going to bring engagement and passion to you very soon if you do that, okay? And I know that seems very simplistic, and I know like it seems like there should be more here and it should be more complicated than that but I think that that's the beauty of what spirit is telling us is it's not that complicated okay what we're trying to do and what we're trying to master we put a lot of conditions on it that things should be more complicated because it feels like things are worth it when they're more complicated right like it, we really earned it but spirit's saying it's hard enough to be here anyway and to get an incarnation into this into this lifetime, into this time in life right now, this time on the earth plane. The fact that you're here and you're watching this is amazing in and of the first place, okay? And then we have the tower. Okay, so spirit is wanting, this is divine intervention. Spirit is wanting to clear from our space any energy that doesn't support us. This is root chakra energy. This is Mars energy. This is um, the tower of destruction. These are the things that happen that we wonder why, 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 why did that have to happen that way? Why did that person do that, do that to me? Why was this taken from me, right? And what we don't realize is that you know, things are taken from us because we have petitions with the archangels, whether we know it or not. Some of you may be conscious of it and some of you are not, but we are under spiritual decree right now. And some of us have asked our angels to remove very deliberately anyone from our life that doesn't resonate with our energy, okay? I see 1133 on the clock right now. So 111333. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that the angels are directly impacting what's happening on the physical plane because right now it's so important, you guys. Right now is so important that we align ourselves with only the energy that serves us. And so anything that is not for us is going to seem like we can't have it. It's out of our reach. And it's gonna, we're gonna stamp our feet and feel like it's unfair. We're going to cry, we're going to mourn. We're going to feel like we're out of control and we don't have control, okay? But this is part of the process because we're having to let go of what we thought was so that we can make room for better, all right? So I do feel like that's the energy that's coming through right now. 
Now, I want to move on next with the collective message from the ancestors, okay? So let's go ahead and get some collective messages from the ancestors because I really, really was feeling that energy powerful when I put on this oil. Oh my goodness, I could feel chills, okay? So let's, for right now, let's draw on the energy of the ancestors. Ancestors, what would you like us to know for the, this full moon? What is your message for us? For this full moon, ancestors, what is your message? <sighs> Eight of Cups, let go. The ancestors are encouraging us to let go. And it's a little more gentle than the angelic realms. The angelic realms are bringing us the tower. <laughs> because the angelic realms inter interfere when things have gotten very dire. And you absolutely need to leave a situation behind. The ancestors are a little bit softer here with their Eight of Cups. But they're still encouraging us to um, engage with life in a different way and to be passionate about what puts us in the present moment with the very soon here. So they want us to leave things behind. They're wanting us to go and search for something better. They're wanting us to be on a different journey. They're wanting us to embrace our spiritual side and to turn our backs on anything that any lower vibrational energies and they want us to go in search of something better for ourselves okay they want us to leave behind situations that have felt like have contorted and have sucked our energy into a place that isn't healthy for us they want us to walk away from anything that we feel responsible for that doesn't belong to us that's the other thing i'm getting here too Sometimes when you meet someone, you feel like you already can feel like you owe that person something. And yes, we owe kindness to others. And there are certain things that we owe to others. But we do not have to put our bodies, our minds, our souls, and our spirits, um, and our mental health in anybody else's. We don't have to... Um, reduce ourselves in order to be around someone else. And if we find ourselves doing that, then it's time to walk away. And you'll know because it's going to feel very uncomfortable, okay? And you're going to want to search for peace instead, okay? So the ancestors are very clear on that. They're very, very clear. Ancestors, what else do you need to share? Four of Swords, they're like, take a break. <laughs> take a break. And the angelic realm is saying the same thing. Meditate on us. Let us help you. We are here for you. And um, the ancestors are like, we need you to take a break. All right. We need you to let go and to take a break. We need you to actually, I don't want to say hide, but they almost want us to guard and hide our energy and if you need to run around the corner and hide from something they're going to be there with you if you need to just like make up an excuse to take a break in your life just do it um, it's okay to set limits and boundaries with people it's not okay for other people to be draining your physical energy or your emotional energy all right and if you find yourself focusing so much on what somebody did wrong to you and those conversations in your head you guys those are telepathic conversations with people when you have those conversations in your head with someone that hurt you or deceived you or led you astray um, or impacted you very negatively when you have those conversations with someone that is a psychic conversation okay and it happens sometimes in our dream state obviously many times in our dream state but this also happens when we're just in the middle of the day as well, in the light of day. And so recognize those conversations when they're happening and rest, let yourself go. Don't get caught up in those conversations is what the ancestors are saying, okay? And yeah, the hermit, the ancestors are like, go within, go within. There's a huge message here about going within and separating your energy from someone else's right now, okay? They're like, you know, it's okay. Don't be afraid of being alone. The angels are with you. You are not alone. We are with you every step of the way and we will help show you the way. You are not alone. And some of us, I feel like, are kind of afraid of the upcoming winter because the upcoming winter, we're still in a pandemic, things are still very dire, and you know, there could be a lot of fear right here coming up for people, I feel, um, and a fear of what's coming next, right? And so your angels are telling, or your, actually your angels and your 
ancestors here are saying, we will guide you. Do not fear. We will guide you. You will not be alone. We will help you see, okay? And there is some clarity coming through your third eye right now, too. There is a new light and new clarity coming through on this full moon. Ask your guides to cleanse that for you, okay? We have the two of wands, okay? So after you, and look at this beautiful energy judgment on the bottom of the deck here. So your ancestors are have holding hands with you and they're looking up at the moon with you tonight as the moon is full, okay? And there is this beautiful energy of um, community, right? With Aquarius and being together and watching our our whole community evolve, watching us all evolve together and raise up our hands and our arms to each other. And our ancestors are very proud of that. Every prayer that we offer the community, every healing we offer the community uh, in with good heart and in good faith is felt by our ancestors. It's like a um, it's like that they just had the best pizza pizza they've ever had in their life. It's like cosmic kudos, right? So your ancestors, if you've been blessing others and working with that, they want to say thank you for that because it brings them points, okay? Like, I don't know how to say it. It's not points, but it brings them... You know, it brings them like kudos in the afterlife, okay? Because that's their ancestral line doing that work, doing that spiritual worth work on the earth plane, which is very, very hard work to do on the earth plane because there are so many distractions on the earth plane, okay? And the two of wands is saying, um, let us help you make the next big decision that you have and don't get too distracted by it. We will help guide you. Also, for those of you that have familiars, like a cat or a dog, um, you know, or just any kind of a, a familiar, even a familiar in in spirit, right? Like crows or, or snakes are always familiars for me. Animal totems. Um, your, your ancestors are telling you to honor that. For some of you, you guys have a cat that is very keen and picks up everything. Um, and this cat is like very, very important to you, okay? But your ancestors are saying you hold the world in the palm of your hand and you can make any decision that you want, okay? And we will, we support you and we will help you on this path, okay? The angels are going to help you think and get discernment and get clarity and then we're going to help lead you on the path, the day-to-day. -day. Your ancestors are saying we'll lead you on the day-to-day, -day, okay? And let's, when it comes to love, Love, too, actually, is what they're saying. When it comes to love, we will actually help lead you down your path. Stay open to that and ask your ancestors for help, okay? Um, and let's go ahead and draw some animal totems. Since the animals came up, I've got my animal cards right here. Let's draw some animal totems for this full moon, okay? So spirits, angels, and guides, and ancestors, please help draw, help me here as I channel for the collective, what animal messages we need right now? What animal messages do we need right now for the collective? Giraffe, see the big picture. This is that temperance energy, the Sagittarius energy, getting out of the muck of the Seven of Swords where everything in life is a betrayal and somebody did something and you've got to figure out what happened and you have to obsess about it. and. You know, the angels are saying, see the bigger picture here. That's why the angels for me are associated with temperance because Sagittarius energy, it sees the vision, it sees the big picture. The giraffe stands above. This is number 29, which is number 11. The giraffe stands even above the trees and can see everything, okay? And so we're being asked to see the bigger picture. See why tower moments have come to us. See why, but don't obsess, wear it lightly. Wear it lightly, see the big picture, but wear it lightly. Don't become Sherlock Holmes, don't become detectives. Wear it lightly, but see the big picture and wait for the big picture. Wait for your crown chakra and your third eye to open to this. With this, I see the third eye opening and that's how we see the big picture. It's with vision, all right? So um, the animals are wanting us to have vision and to stay open and see the big picture, okay? And nothing is too weird or too goofy or too off. Try everything. That's the other message I'm getting for the collective is try 
everything. Try and see what works, okay? And then we have the hummingbird spirit, be here now, number seven. Okay, so this is like along with the four of cups and this meditation and the four of swords with relaxing into the presence, okay? Um, and with the angels and the hermit as well. It's be here now and do be in the present. Don't be waiting for some undefined future. It's easier said than done. Don't be holding on to the past. See the big picture and be here now, okay? And realize, go around and look at the way that the animals are. Look at the way that the bees are, that the dogs are, that the birds are. They're the squirrels, the rabbits. They're in the present moment, okay? All animals are in the present moment. And so they, the hummingbird spirit is here. Also, the hummingbird spirit is here to tell you a secret in your ear as well. And with the number seven, the number seven is very mystical. So the hummingbird spirit is here to give you a very mystical message as well and whisper something in your ear. And it's probably going to happen at nighttime, okay? Because this card's a little like dark purple. So I see it more of a nighttime, okay? More of a nighttime, nighttime influence here antelope spirit life is speeding up okay so life is speeding up and that's why we have to be here now and see the big picture because soon life is going to be moving a lot faster for us okay so that means this is number two which i also see as partnership you guys so some of the work that we're doing now is preparing us for union and preparing us for partnership and that's why we need to see the big picture walk away from things that no longer serve us go on our own internal journey rest and then make decisions from that standpoint okay because life is sure to speed up soon and with the number two here i see that partnership can be coming up for some of us very soon and i we got the very soon passion and engagement card so it is speeding up right life is going to start speeding up so it's very important that we now see the bigger picture and that we actually stay in the present moment okay you guys i hope you enjoy your collective full moon message thank you so much for being here i'm just going to close the corners right now thank you east south west and north for being here for coming today as i work through this reading i now release the energies and return us back to our normal state as we let go we release the east the south the west and the north thank you for being with us thank you for st standing with me today hecate thank you for being here ishtar 88 line Gate. Thank you, St. Archangel Michael, for always protecting and always guiding us. And thank you so much for watching. God bless and take care.